Hello, welcome back again on this lovely, bright, clear and cool afternoon. Um, now, what we're going to do today here is we're going to have a little look at the uh, Talbot Express again. And uh, this is a topic which I know causes a lot of confusion uh, <laughs> uh, across the board. Um, and I uh, want to give a couple of wee indicators with regard to the health of the um, head gasket. Um, and uh, while we prepare to do that, uh, why not just subscribe, uh, like and share. Um, but uh, let's get on to the bottom and uh, we'll, uh, I'll just show you one or two little uh, indicators here. Right, now, this is um, our 35-year-old uh, Talbot Express. It's the 1971cc 2.0-litre uh, petrol version. And... Um, we want to have a little look at its head gasket story. Now, the engine is in pretty straight order. The vehicle completed um, hmm, uh, 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 an over the thousand mile uh, round trip uh, to the Mediterranean and back in the latter part of last summer. Um, running well uh, from a mechanical point of view. Uh, no real issues, you know, with the typical little loss of power going up hills and so on but then it is the two litre uh, petrol uh, express now um having said that uh, there was a little bit of concern about the power generation a uh, little use of water um, you know, a little bit more than you would have expected and consequently bore a wee bit of investigation now the engine uh clean dry uh no obvious water leaks okay uh but at the same time as i say it was maybe a wee bit lackluster in power and uh, as i say using a wee bit more water than you might have been uh, content with um so what did we do okay so the uh, first thing we wanted to do uh was to get a look at the uh the oil now uh the cap off and you can immediately see that we've got some uh, gungy residue in there uh, if we have a look at that uh, uh, let me try and get that to the point where you can see it there we go uh, so what we're seeing there is the usual sludge um, as a result of um, a bit of water in there so without shadow of a doubt you know we've got some sort of uh, oil and water mix going on uh, and obviously not a, a particularly good scenario uh, to start with, but I would have to say that that particular symptom um, is much more recent than uh, the symptoms de described during the journey, you know, with a, a wee bit of uh, water loss primarily being the, the main um, cause of concern. Obviously things have been developing. Then, I decided to have a bit of a closer look at this water. At loss and say so even though it wasn't that significant engine still dry no trouble when you start the vehicle up from cold maybe a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, white smoke perhaps but nothing significant uh, out of the exhaust so I um, got uh, the old uh, water pressure kit um, no, I can't actually show you this in reality uh, because it's no longer uh, here but You'll see there we've got a wee bit of um, uh, your dirt in the water and the uh, expansion vessel. Put the pressure on up there and I'm going to show you the results of that in a separate little video. And um, what became apparent and uh, what I did was uh, from underneath the vehicle, I um, loosened off the exhaust coming into the manifold, put the water pressure on here and you can watch what happens in this separate little video there. So, um, interesting. So, 
think it's fair to say then uh, that we certainly have an issue with regard to the head gasket on the vehicle. So after we get um, the uh, the heater repair completed and heater matrix back in, then we're going to start to strip the head and redo it. But worth noting that the um, the issues and the uh, the symptoms were fairly subtle, smooth running, uh, no issue uh, with the driving out in the roads, um, but a little bit high water use. Um, Demonstrated obviously by the fact that the, the, the gasket has cracked somewhere along the way and it's releasing water down into the uh, outlet manifold and down the exhaust. And then, as I say, in more recent times, you can see the clear indication of the water mix in the oil. Um, so, head gasket, mm, sometimes a bit more subtle uh, than just a blown gasket and sitting at the side of the road not going anywhere. Uh, so, as always, worth monitoring quality of oil, cleanliness of the water, and um, keep an eye out for those unusual habits that your vehicle doesn't usually have uh, so i hope that has been in some way useful um, and uh, as we start the project of doing the head gasket uh, we'll um, keep you posted uh, so in the meantime uh, as always uh, do, uh, do do subscribe do like and do share all right thank you very much bye